Hey, what's up guys? Today I am doing a little bit of the deranged archaeologist demiboss. I uh, just kind of want to show you guys how easy it is. And, um, you know, for such low levels, you can make pretty decent money, you know, compared to just doing Slayer or something like that. So my inventory is kind of fucked up because I already recorded this, but I was muted. So we're doing it again. Um, so as far as the inventory goes, you know, obviously just ignore all the drops here. Um, but so this boss is on Fossil Island. Um, to get to this guy, you know, you're just going to take the magic must tree, bring a wood cutting axe. Um, <clears throat> well, so teleport to Fossil Island, with the dig side pendant, take the must tree to here. If you don't have this one unlocked. You can just go here and run down. You will need a woodcutting axe. And if you're coming from this mush tree, which is for the birdhouse runs, you're going to need a rake as well. So once you get here, um, I just have a holy for my inventory setup. You know, I've got the woodcutting axe, the dig site pendant, the rake, um, teleports just in case, an antidote. Um, coming down here, if you're coming from the Mushroom Meadows Mush Tree, you should just bring an antidote because you could get poisoned on the way. And then stamina, just a couple pieces of food. This this guy does drop food um, and then some super stores. Uh, and then I do have an imbued heart in the Holy Wrench just to help with the super restores. And you attack this guy with magic. So if you have an imbued heart, obviously bring it. As far as the gear setup goes, it's pretty much just your standard magic gear. Nothing too crazy. I am using Trident of the Swamp. Uh, you know, this guy's pretty easy. I feel like you could use Trident of the Seas, uh, maybe even an Ivan Staff. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. So the fight is super easy. And uh, you, this area is not instanced or anything like that. You just hop over this log and then it'll start attacking you. So we are going to throw on protect from missiles and augury. So let's go. It's really easy. There's only one mechanic that you have to learn with this guy. Uh, throughout the fight, he'll say stuff. When he says learn to read, you just run about three or four squares away and don't get hit. That's literally all you have to do. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just a demi boss. It's not like you're going to get uh, any crazy drops. There really aren't any super, super rares. This is more of a, uh, you know, kind of consistent kill. So my first drop with this guy's Renate limbs. You can see I've already actually gotten one. So yeah, I mean, that was it. That was the fight. Super easy. Um, I, like I said, I feel like you could do this with just maybe even an Ivan staff if you don't have tried under the swamp. Um, unfortunately, this guy doesn't have a pet. Um, and like I said, no super, super rares. But I've been here maybe... 10 20 minutes and i've made about 200k which is you know way faster than slayer most of the time especially if you're a lower level um and the kills are real quick so you can kind of just chill here forever so yeah that's it um i feel like this is a really good kind of demi boss for um lower levels as you can see i just got hit there with one of the learn to read uh, fireballs but it only did nine damage um you know it's really you're usually not going to get one shot here i don't think maybe if you just sat there and you're just completely not paying attention you get hit over and over again um but yeah that's a nice kind of nice thing about this guy he does drop uh, consumables like food. He also drops prayer pods, so you can really extend your trips here, and um, you know make a 
a decent amount of money, I feel like. Um, he's So this guy, is, he's pretty much exactly like the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness. But he's not in the wilderness, so you can bring, you know, all your best gear. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, PKers, you don't have to worry about PKers. Uh, this area is not instant, so if you do die, you just come back and pick your shit up. No big deal. And, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. So I really recommend if you're lower level and you want to... I don't even know. I, I feel like I can't even really consider this getting into bossing. Because you're just kind of standing here. Running away once. Um, but, you know, um, if you're lower level, you just want to try it out. Maybe you need a little bit of money for something. It's not too, too expensive. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, right there. Dragon arrow, 60 dragon arrows. That's, what was it? 35k? I mean, that's pretty easy. 35k for clicking twice and taking no damage at all. I, I mean, I'll take it. So, I guess I'll do one more kill. Um, he does have a little bit, like, 25 second respawn timer. Um, so, it's not horrible. Like, some bosses got like a minute or something. But, um... You do have to wait a little bit. That, that way it gives you time to pot up and eat food if you got hurt during the uh, previous round. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Again, no pet, no ultra rares. So you're just going to get a consistent, you know, I don't know. I've been here. I think I could get maybe 500k an hour. Uh, maybe a little more. I'm sure the wiki knows exactly how much you could make. Um, but the good thing about this is since you're not relying on ultra rares to make your money, you know, it's more consistent, you can kind of rely on that. You don't have to make, you don't have to get, you know, dragon plate laid drop or a vis visage or something like that to make it worth your time. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend it for any lower level players or mid-level or even if you're higher level like me and, you know, you just want to kind of check it out. Fossil Island's kind of an unknown sort of area I haven't really explored too much. Um, so it's cool that they added this. You know, it's not an original idea. Crazy Archaeologist is the exact same thing, honestly. And... Um, but it's cool that they added it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll go through this one last kill here. Just see if I get anything worth noting. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel like you could knock out like, you know, 50 kills an hour. I guess it just depends how lucky you get with... He only said, you know, learn to read once. That, that, uh, that kill. So that was easy. Oops. So yeah, that's the Deranged Archaeologist. Very, very easy boss. Um, very easy to learn. No real mechanics, no advanced mechanics. You just click away when you see Learn to Read. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you have any questions about inventory, I know my inventory was kind of fucked uh, at the beginning. Like I said, I already recorded this, but I was muted. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any recommendations for what I should do next, also let me know. Um, I'm finally starting to get into bossing. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So uh, this is an easy one. I recommend you check them out. And uh, other than that, just have a wonderful day.